I know part two is just going to be all about natured and it's going to be all about um, probably victim shaming as if that, you know what, Mr. Cardigan, unless you're in an abusive relationship with an abusive narcissist, you can can it. And doo doo, you can can it too because you're going to act like we don't have video evidence of him smacking you around, you stupid idiot. Seriously. You're going to say I was manipulative? He's the king of manipulators. The king of manipulators. Any narcissist abuser is. If someone goes to put, lovingly put their hand on my face, I flinch. Like, but everything he did to her in that video, I can't, I don't like watching that video because he did the same to me. His, the way his face turned, the way he snorted and growled. He flicked, started by flicking a cigarette at me. He burnt cigarettes on me. Um, threw, threw things at me, punched me, smacked me, called me names. And the, the worst thing is he, he blamed it. He would blame it on me for what he did. And I would be like, oh yeah, I must've done something. He's vile. And for people to sit there and think that I would ever want to go back to that, you don't know me and you're disgusting. That's it. That's all I have to say. Another thing I want to bring up is people like to quote when I said, I think it was in Cuba Rage, I'm going to manipulate you and you're going to eat it up. I was quoting a hater in chat. Somebody um, in chat would always say she's going to manipulate us because, you know, whatever. So I would say that um, I was quoting exactly what they said. And so that was that. I wanted to bring that up. I know I said that before, but. I'll be as sweet as pie tomorrow. Oh, you know it. You know, I'm going to manipulate the fuck out of you and you're going to eat it up and you're going to watch me. <laughs> um, I don't know how I would manipulate people. I always was genuine about how I'm feeling. You were just so attracted to him physically, but over time, that's what he would do. He would use that, that like, um, against me, you know, like he would use, I don't want to say, but you know what I mean? Like he was just vile in every way. I don't know. Everything was about him. A big, you know what I mean? Like these people act like you were the one obsessing and bullying them when it's them doing. All yeah, I know. Yeah, you were you were mean to your audience. No, I'm mean to audience members who would always come in and bully me and shame me for failing on a diet or doing whatever. Yeah, like I'm not just going to come up to you and be mean to you for no reason. Like you don't know me in real life. I'm actually really nice and personable and I've had a lot of friends. It's a thing for four. What photo was photoshopped? I have never in my life ever had Photoshop. Never, 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 never. Voila, I swear. Never. You can say, you can change your name, but you're not, you're the same person. How am I the same person? How? When, when did I have any drop of alcohol? When did I do any of the things that I used to do? You know, like there's no, there's no comparison. Thanks, Lynn. Little Nitty. If anybody does manipulating of their audience, it's hater channels who use lies and use, use character assassination tactics to try to gain more hate, to, to perpetuate more hate, more useless twisting of things. Um, You know what I mean? Like, please. Have I raged in defending myself? Yeah, sure. I'm trying not to. I haven't called anybody names tonight, except for maybe the abuser, but sorry. I mean, not sorry. Same thing with Cuba Rage. I'm not sorry about anything I said about that person. Nope, not after what I've been through that weekend before I went there. Sorry, not sorry. You should tell your story. Be one to profit off of it instead of reactors. Yeah, Leslie, it's just that at the time, especially when I was going through the abuse, I would come on live and cry and scream and, you know, block it out with drugs and tell you everything that happened. And at the time you guys believed me because you were telling me to leave. You hated me for staying. For like ever now. I don't know. I think it said I'm live now. I've been, I set this live up so long ago and there's like construction and it's just been like buffering. Anyway, I'm starving. I want to have a put in. So I'm going to talk to you guys about a lot of things. In 200 meters, keep right at the fork. Follow signs for Auto Route 15, South Quebec, 117 North. I'm going to go to Orange Julep and get an Italian puts in. I think they have those. And a, a veggie dog. And a large drink. All is full of love. So as you can see, I have a completely different mood today. And, um, so I actually probably should name this stream. I honestly don't even know what to say. I feel like I've apologized so many times to everybody for like flipping out and lashing out. And like, regardless, my behavior yesterday was insane. I, when I stop the car, cause I know you guys are shit talking to me right now. I do not want any more disrespectful people in my chat. Like people who just come to disrespect, disrespect me, disrespect me. And I know you're thinking, oh, she's being defensive. So she was with Natter. No, this is like, this is just like, this has been long overdue. It actually like does bug me. Like no matter what it's, I get mad because people do attack me like for doing something like getting back with a boyfriend or like, I don't know. So listen, I stand like I've watched the video. I've seen the video of me being crazy. Like I hate Natter. I love Natter. I hate Natter. I fucking love Natter. I hate Natter. So the final verdict, I guess, is that I do love Natter. And obviously there's a lot of good, really good things that I don't share with you. And I really, really want to. Um, we had a deal made not long ago. We had a plan to make this a healthier friendship. And I fucked it up yesterday. I really fucked it up. We talked about a lot of stuff and I feel 
Like, I've just been so paranoid. Use the right two lanes to turn slightly right on the Boulevard de Carie. Signs for Namur. I, what I struggle with in adding extra stress Continue on the for one kilometer. Is the fact that I've come on here and like completely dog shit ruined the life and reputation of somebody that I've more than anybody in my life right now. Like, and I don't know how to deal with that. Like, I don't know how, because yeah, obviously I want to be able to fucking do things like stress-free and just live a normal life. And in order to do that, you can't come online and air out all your fucking relationship dirty laundry. No matter how bad it is, it's not fair to him no matter what you say. Like, if, especially if I want to be with him. So that's in any way, like any kind of friendship, any kind of whatever, you know, it's just like, that's just how it has to be. So, so yeah, I do love this man. He did not sexually assault me. Um, he's innocent of that. I want to make that clear because this kind of accusation for somebody really is damaging. You were just so attracted to him physically, but over time, that's what he would do. He would use that, that like, um, against me, you know, like he would use, I don't want to say, but you know what I mean? Like he was just vile in every way. I don't know. He did not sexually assault me. Um, he's innocent of that. I want to make that clear because this kind of accusation for somebody really is damaging. I don't think before I come online and I talk. I don't think before I do things. I don't think before I just go online and be like, hey, uh, Dee Dee did this, right? Or like, she's gross. Like, she has a job. She has a reputation. So I am sorry. Like, no matter what, I'm not saying Dee Dee and I are even friends. But I do, at, on a human level, if I do something shitty to somebody, I feel like I should own it. Um, so that's how I really feel. Um, I did meet up with him. We did do t a lot of talking. Um, it's weird to me that somebody I spend most of my time with, or I spend so much time with and so much energy on, and somebody that I supposedly love so much that I would do so much bad things to you know and he's very private so whatever in 400 meters turn right anything like that between us like if i feel wrong in any way not full assault wise but whatever i feel like it's all worked out like we, we have a right to work it out in private basically that's how turn right then turn left you know what i mean so it's just really messy like to try to deal with this stuff after i've shared so much and now it's like different my feelings are different like I, one minute i hate him and i come online and i vent but i, I don't take really the next hate right him. then like, turn left i still love him and I, and I end up like you know what i mean like we end up working things out and it's just like Nobody can understand that, I get it, you know? Nobody wants this together, I get that. But at the end of the day, it's still Take my the choice. next right, then turn right. It's still my choice, and I don't know what to say. I changed my mind, and I feel like the whole situation with this assault thing was more of a um, situation, like, between, like, lovers that I should have never, like, really... Like, that's a serious thing, like, and I... You know what I mean? Like, yeah, so... I really, like, put you guys through an emotional shit hole yesterday. Yeah, he's a good person. He has a lot of good in him. And I know that's hard because, and I, I feel, I don't know, like I've, I really want us to do really fun stuff and good stuff and stuff with baby voice. I'm trying to get you guys to like me. <laughs> I'll be as sweet as pie tomorrow. Oh, you know it. You know, I'm going to manipulate the fuck out of you. And you're going to eat it up and you're going to watch me. <laughs> okay, I need to put 10. I lie about what? Are you kidding? I am abusive too. Are you joking? I am very verbally abusive. And the, the worst thing is, he, he blamed it, he would blame it on me for what he did. And I would be like, oh yeah, I must have done something. Are you kidding? I am abusive too. Are you joking? I am very verbally abusive. Because I don't feel like that's what it is, Tracy. I don't feel that at all. I don't feel that he, like, no, he didn't. And I am very, very sorry for just, I guess, casually talking about SA. Um, he just wants your money and he doesn't want you. Whatever. So, that's my problem then. Upset over what? By saying, by, but no, you can be upset, you don't have to be abusive. How does my, I don't know, I don't know, I don't get it. I don't know how my life choices affect you. I really like put you guys through an emotional shit hole yesterday in any way. These people are leaving anyway, so goodbye. They're not even, they don't even contribute anything to the chat except negativity, right? So far, I am finding people who are assholes. Sorry, I changed my mind about that. Yeah, so I'm gonna have this attitude forever, so if you don't like it, goodbye. Hope it all goes down with you. For what? Yes, I'm blocking people who are not supportive. And who are rude. You don't have to be rude. You don't have to support my decisions, but you don't have to be rude. So if you're rude, I will block you. You're a sick, delusional, controlled, and broken woman. Okay, are you- so what? What? Controlled? You're an idiot. And you're an idiot. Goodbye. Worry about yourself. All of you have demons in your closet. So until you're perfect, fuck you and eat shit. Okay? Bye. I, I fucking hate that. Number one, people who say you're a bad person. You're a bad person. No, people do bad things. Doesn't make person a bad person. Okay? A person is a complex individual. Their actions, your actions, don't define you. Because- y you're, by your logic then, only your bad actions define you, okay? So if you're saying your bad actions define somebody, so do their good actions. So does all their good actions. So does everything fucking supportive Natter does for me. He is really good in my life. I like him there, and that's where he's gonna stay. And, actually, not just for him, anybody in your life. Anybody you just dismiss an entire human with a whole history just because they do a few fucking shitty things? Come on, seriously. Do you know, I, the fact that people don't understand 
how I keep trying, we keep trying and have a friendship and something. Obviously, there's fucking care there. Obviously, there's love there. Don't fucking act stupid. Like, I don't get it. I hate being shamed for this shit. I hate being shamed for doing things that make me fucking human. Why does just because somebody does something fucked up, it has to, you have to cancel them? Why can't we all just try to learn from one another and take a human situation and try to make it positive? I really don't get it. I really don't. And that's what, that's what I'm going to do on my channel. So if you don't want to be here and you don't want to be used, then I don't know what to say. And I know people are like, you don't, it, but you're not looking at your behavior. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. That's why I'm on here right now, fully saying I fucked up. I'm a piece of shit for what I said and did yesterday and for things I've said and did in the past and for not taking certain very subjects more seriously and for not taking certain very subjects more seriously and for not taking certain very subjects more seriously okay like, that's what i explained to her i said like look i know i've said some really fucked up shit to you you know because she's like on the verge of like wanting to fucking get me on harassment harassment's very hard to prove number one but also like i'm not condoning what i said and did to her because I, I did say some really nasty things but um i mean i feel like like i was just like like insane with like just feeling like really scorned and jealous and just like really like i felt like i was being lied to like like they were being really secretive and it was driving me nuts and i felt like i was being manipulated from the beginning like i you know i come back from windsor here i expect to work it out with my fucking boyfriend and or this man i mean see, you guys know how i feel about him I'm crying about him she's been watching me for two years so you clearly see that i'm crying over this man that i love this man and you inserting yourself in everything is making it worse but then at the same time if he wants his friend there to stay with him while we're fighting, I mean, I press charges on him. So what is he supposed to do? Be on the street? Be alone? You know what I mean? So he needed that support there too. So it was just like so fucked up on so many angles. And I just don't want to talk about that personal part of my life anymore. I want to keep that to myself. Be private about it. I feel like I have a right to do that. If you feel like I'm lying and being secretive, oh, well, you know what to do. We're, there's the door as always. I mean, that's just how I feel about it. You know, so... I'm going to pull the I'll be right back. And actually... If you go watch our videos together, if you go watch the car karaoke together in the daytime one, where he's wearing the, the blue and red shirt, he's very, he's loving in that video and shows me off at the end. He's, so to say that, I don't think it's for people like, he won't claim you. No, not until things are good with us. You don't claim someone who puts charges on you, right? <gasps> mm. <laughs> Let's just go back to Beezing and forget all this drama that I just complained about for a year, please. I promise I won't do anything stupid like that ever again, I promise. I did I did overlook Katie's N-words and racist marks. You're right, I did. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry if you went through something. And I am sorry for any women who go through shit. And I'm sorry, like, I can't be what you thought I would be or whatever. I don't know, I just... You can't be mad at your audience when yesterday you were wanting them to hate him. I know. I get that. I didn't hate anybody, but I, not, I really hurt a lot of people with my words. And that's what I wanted to do. Everyone is sick of my shit at this point. <coughs> One thing I will say that you guys are wrong about him, and you need to check yourself. I should be saying nice things. I've done nothing but talk shit to somebody that I love. You know? We've been through so much fucking shit together that I don't think that will ever change, that I will ever stop caring about him. No one's hitting me, okay? <laughs> I'm okay. Things are really just, things are really good between us, and right now, and I just, well, we're trying to work on building this friendship back up, okay? So. I think the first step, yes. I mean, like, think of all the shit I've ever, like, everything, like, would you not feel betrayed, like, by your partner? <laughs> That's what I mean. I'm blaming it on me putting it online and talking so much shit. That's what was all the stress from. Like, obviously, that's gonna stress him out. Fuck. No, nobody slapped me a few days ago. Are you talking about the head slap? Oh, that didn't, that was just freaking whatever. Answer people's, no, I don't need to answer people's questions. I don't need to do anything. I don't have to answer anything I don't want to. I don't want to talk about it. It means I don't want to talk about it. What part of that don't you get? If I don't want to talk about shit, I'm like, I'm not talking about shit, okay? Uh, nobody, oh, nobody is using me. I haven't given Natter a fucking red dime. A red cent. I'm not even kidding. That, I swear. I did give him some money to hang on to for me because my wallet was too thick and when we were walking around, but I think he pretty gave it back. I haven't given Natter a fucking red dime. Oh, I shared too much with you guys, fuck. Well, if you don't want me to lie, stop asking me stuff. Why do you guys care who pays for stuff? <sighs> I'll never be private. I am private. He's vile. And for people to sit there and think that I would ever want to go back to that, you don't know me and you're disgusting. That's it. That's all I have to say. You can't be mad at your audience when yesterday you were wanting them to hate him. I know. I get that. This is childproof too. Help me. <laughs> <laughs>